Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos and Chief Architect. In this particular video we're going to show you how to make a quick and fast kitchen nook seat or a bench seat for your plan or your project. Okay here I have is just a simple room and I've thrown up some windows in the corner and I want to put my bench seat going around the corner. Okay so I'm going to start with the cabinet tool. I click on the cabinet tools and I'm going to go in and just click one of my cabinets in here. And Let's go ahead and take the camera view and throw it in there and there's my cabinet in the corner and I'm gonna split the screen so we can kinda of see what we're doing when we're doing it. Zoom in on the 2D plan I'm going to double click the cabinet and open up its specifications. I want to change its height to 16 inches uh, the width I'm gonna change to 60 inches uh, the depth I'm gonna go to 18 inches and floor to bottom that is good. I'm going to keep tabbing down to the countertop. Now the countertop thickness, um, why don't we make it three inches? And the overhang will make one, which is good. I'm going to tab down here to the backsplash. I want to make that 12 inches high because I want a back uh, area where you can rest your back there and you're sitting up against it. 12 inches high and again the thickness, let's make three. Okay, and then um, I'm simply going to click on the drawer front. Actually, back in the general tab, let's keep going down to toe kick. We can go ahead and remove the toe kick because we don't really need that for the seat. So I'm going to zero that out. Now I'm going to select my drawer front and I'm just going to change it from a drawer. Well, actually, I'm going to delete it. That way I have a whole full face piece here and I can give it a panel, like a, a door panel. Uh, that works pretty good. And click OK. And there we go. Now, um, it doesn't really look like a bench seat with the default color, so I'm going to go ahead and in the 3D view, I'm going to select my spray can. And um, I'm going to navigate my way, yeah, to the fabrics, plaids, there we go. That plaid brick seems good. And I'm just going to paste it up on there. And then the lower portion, I can do another color. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm just going to zoom in a bit and do one more tweak to the cabinet. I can either double click in here or go back to the 2D and double click. But let's go to the moldings tab. Go to add new. And I'm going to navigate down to my moldings and my edge moldings. And I'll see I have different edge moldings to choose from. I'm going to choose this guy right here. Not totally round, but just mostly. Click OK, and of course I want to make the height 2 inches, because that's the thickness of it. Uh, everything else is good, 3 quarters is good, I'm be fine with that. Click OK. And it seems I need to go 3 inches. Okay, so I'm going to double click this time here, go over here, make that quick adjustment. 3 inches, there we go. And grabbing the eyedropper, I'm going to pick up the color and apply it to the front edge. There we go. Now, once I've done one side, it's real easy to copy it, select it, copy it, paste it right up against that wall and just like cadmus when they butt together they become one final piece and there we go and that's making a simple bench seat using chief architect x2 you can use this same technology and version in version i believe x1 as well as 10 and even 9.5 hope you learned something and talk to you again soon